Hello and welcome to Rick Martin's Blender Tutorial, Blender 2.5 Alpha 2, on creating a flying saucer in Blender. First thing we'll do is change the view to a side view. There we go. Zoom in a little bit. Hit tab to go into edit mode. Now we want to merge all these vertices into one vertice. So we go to merge in the panel over here at center. Now we'll grab the one vertice that's remaining, lift it up a bit. Now we'll start to extrude. Hold down shift and hit E and extrude. Shift E, Shift E, Shift E. And there we go. Now we hit A to select, unselect, A to select all. Now we want to spin it. So we go to spin. Now it's spun around an axis we didn't want it to spin around. We want to sp it's spun around the Y axis. We want it to spin around the Z axis. So we There, now that we got the right axis dialed in, we'll set the degrees. That's uh, 360. And we want one step each degree, so 36 steps. Now we'll go into quad view. We'll rotate it a little bit to give us a nice side profile. Got to select all the vertices. Now if we render, we have yourself a nice UFO. Render is F12, F11 brings you back out. Now we'll uh, Assign colors. Now we want this to be reflective a little bit, so we hit mirror, increase the reflectivity. Now make sure you're out of edit mode, add another mesh, add a cube. Now we want to stretch this cube out until it's bigger than the area we're working in. Now we'll uh, go out of edit mode, hit, hit this little plus sign and then hit new. There you can just create a new material for it. Now we'll go over and change this to a node view, node editor view. And we want, yeah, that's the right material. We want to use node. Now we want to. delete this checkerboard pattern. We just switched over to the texturing node and we clicked use node. 
Now we want to add a texture. We'll go with clouds. Hook the color together. Now I want to change this uh, color, give it a bit of a red. Now we'll render. Now the saucer is reflecting a bit of the red clouds. And there you have it. You have yourself a nice flying saucer.